Well, Mercy South in South St. Louis County, just off of 270 and Tesson Ferry Road, treats the second most stroke patients in the St. Louis area. So it might not surprise you the hospital is listed as a comprehensive stroke center. It's one of less than 200 of these kinds of centers in the United States. That's out of more than five thousand hospitals. But even these elite doctors can be stumped by a case. Imagine you're in your mid to late 30s. You work, you have a family and you work out almost daily. Then one day you wake up with intense brain fog and you're just not making sense in conversation. That's what happened to an Imperial Missouri man after an extremely rare stroke. Huh? Hit, hit the play button. For Josh and Shelly Meyer and their three daughters. Uh, here's a worksheet with it. It's a rush to finish homework before Christmas. Pre -game. But this holiday season, P -R -E. cramming for a spelling test as a family is a blessing. I don't know that if there's anything I could have done to prevent this. The Myers were in Kansas City recently for a youth soccer tournament for their eldest daughter, Grace. I turned and said something to my wife, Shelly, and I, my words were slurring. Josh became increasingly confused at one point, telling parents the kids were warming up when the match was well underway. We asked another dad um, there and he said, he was like, Josh, are you kidding? And he was like, no, they're not scrimmaging. They're, they've been playing for 15 minutes now. And so that was kind of like the running joke all weekend. A joke at first turned into a scary reality for the Myers. They returned to Imperial and Josh went back to work for two days thinking nothing was wrong. And I said, did you drink a lot of water today? Did you take your vitamins? And he said, yeah, I took 12 of my, of, or 10 of the B12. And I was like, what do you mean you took 10 of them? Shelly took a video of Josh and FaceTimed her friend Molly, who's also a nurse practitioner. And I said, he is so frustrated with me. I know he is. And I said, but something's not right. Holly says she noticed significant drooping of Josh's face immediately. I told her time is brain in the stroke world and you have got to call 911 and go to the hospital. That brought the Myers to the ER at Mercy South. We've discovered that he'd had a fairly large stroke. Dr. Malik, who runs a hospital's comprehensive stroke unit, says somehow Josh dissected his carotid artery and had a stroke days before arriving at the ER. It was a very rare scenario. Dr. Malik's team worked quickly to start treatment. Like, how can this happen? He's so young and he's active. When we first got into the emergency room, I thought the doctor was lying to me. In Josh's case, his case was, you know, he'd already had the stroke before he came in. But somebody who was in the midst of having a stroke, those are the most important minutes. The first hour, we call it the golden hour. If you can get to a hospital, get diagnosed and treated, the chances that you will walk out are very high. But if you delay it, the damage builds up in the brain. But the answer to why this all happened is still unknown. They kept asking me if I go to a chiropractor regularly, which was no. If I'd been in a car accident, no. And if I'd fallen, no, none of those things. Sometimes we can't find out, but at least we've looked at everything else and make sure that he doesn't have any other vessels that's going to do this. Doctors say Josh is not a ticking time bomb. It's extremely unlikely something like this happens again. That reassurance and the outpouring from friends and family are welcome gifts. Do you have your Santa shop money in there? Just in time for the holiday. I mean, I know it freaked Shelly out big time and, and I, I get it completely and the girls were freaked out too, but just how much people have shown love and, and I just really appreciate all that. Josh says he feels fine today and doesn't have to go back to see his doctors until April. Both Josh and Shelly say they're eating healthier and they go on nightly walks post stroke. Now there is an easy acronym for all of us to remember about detecting basic stroke symptoms. It's called be fast for balance, eyes, face, arms, speech and time. A stroke is an emergency and you should call 911 immediately.